I am heading off in a minute to go to a uh, yarn and sewing and craft fair uh, in the city. This yarn fair is arranged in a lot of places around the country throughout the year and twice a year in both Stockholm and Gothenburg. We've done some live podcasting there, which is kind of chaotic. And last year I was there selling my book and ceramics in Gothenburg and Stockholm. But this year I just got to walk around again. So here's the thing you probably don't know about a yarn show if you've never been, or about yarny spaces in general. It's just, it's one of the best places to be. Yeah, it's, it's crowded and usually it's in a giant windowless space with less and less oxygen throughout the day, but it's still amazing. Part of it is getting to see so much wonderful yarn and fabric and materials in one space. We're getting more and more indie dyers in Sweden and also more stores selling hand dyed yarns from other parts of the world. So it's always fun to go and, and pet the yarn even if you don't buy, both ones that you already know you love and you know, new additions and new discoveries. But it's also just the people. You get to be in a space where everyone is happy to be there. Even when I've been in my own booth and I'm tired and I'm not getting to really see anything else, it's just such a boost for the spirit. Everyone is happy, everyone is there because of their passion, everyone is happy to pet the yarn. Over the past couple of years of, of doing the podcast, we meet listeners who want to talk to us. In the last year, I've, I always meet people who have read and, and like my book, and that's super cool. But it's also nice to just to get to see everyone talking to each other. And it's almost like everyone is on the same level in a way that you don't get at, at other conventions. Even the cool dyers and designers, you know, they love knitting too. And they want to touch people's cardigans and talk about yarns and everything. And people follow each other on Instagram and... Yeah, it's, it's good for the soul, even when there are too many people and you give up. I made it back. We thought we were going to be there for an hour. We were there for two, which we probably expected anyway. I bought one sweater quantity of green yarn, um, Deneline Yarns uh, Rosy Sport, and I bought some yarn for a friend who was sick and couldn't make it at all. And now I need lunch and maybe to lie down and rest for a couple of minutes. But then I need to start packing up the rest of the ceramics for a market I'm selling at tomorrow and keep your eyes peeled for a video from that. So thanks for watching. Feel free to comment and subscribe and all that stuff. Have a good day. Be nice to yourself. Drink some water. Take a nap. And I'll see you later.